Welcome to another fraction of your- Ah! It is hot! Take it out. Guess what else I'll do? Your CD? Your CD? Broken! Just like that! Just like that! I am done! This right here ever happened to you? Huh? Huh? Well, for the people like you, I got a solution. Hey. I'm Smith Smitherson. And I have come up with a new invention to help all those teenagers out there. Ever been in the car with your parents listening to your music, you know? And they get all in your case, what is this crap, what's this devil music, what's this swearing? Finally, there's something here. You know, my dad threw me out whenever I was 14 years old. Said, son, your music's just too crazy for me. I was listening to the Beatles. Well, you know, I started thinking, hey, maybe there's other kids that have the same problem as me. So I came up with a little invention, follow me. Introducing the all new, all, all new eye sensor. Look at that beautiful quality. Cool effect by the way, Roger. Alright, check it out people. This thing right here, it can be used on your radios, your computers, it can be plugged into your iPods to transfer to your radios. This thing, what it does, you see, it detects any type of bad words, any type of vulgar, any type of so-called devil music coming up, and it'll replace it with things your parents may possibly like. We'll give you some examples. Malachi! What is that freaking music I hear? Alright, so we've now seen one way that the eye sensor can work. Now let's try to figure out another. All right, here's our next scene right here. See, most kids nowadays, they have what's called an eye home. Might be familiar. If you're not, get with it. But the eye sensor hooks up to eye homes, too. Check it. Really? Again, Malachi? Again? You don't know when to quit, boy. All right, now here's where it gets cool. It just doesn't work for music. All right, so say you're downstairs, you're watching a movie that might be kind of embarrassing. You'll see here in the next skit. The eye sensor works. DVDs. Malachi, you're watching freaking Twilight now? Boy, you have failed me. No, Dad, just, you know, watching some Adam Sandler movies. That's my boy. You're the Adam Sandler and you, you guys can make a great movie together. You know what? I'm going to go call him. All right, I mean, this next part's pretty much ridiculous. We thought, why not, though? Best part about the eye sensor? Yeah, it censors people. Oops. I'm sorry. I meant to put this. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna go sing to the deaf and maybe even study for Mr. Hollowidge's test. Alright guys, come get my item. It's totally awesome. It's the eye sensor. Just 
only thing is, like I said, I'm 15. I can't like deliver your stuff to you. So this is the only hard part. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go into a back alley, okay? You're gonna talk to my friend named Zuglablish, okay? Make sure you pronounce it right whenever you approach him or he'll slap you. He's gonna give you two dice, you're gonna roll them. Once you get the lucky number five, they're gonna open up and a beaver's gonna come out. Once the beaver comes out, he's gonna slap his tail on the ground two times. Once he does that, you flick his left big tooth three times. He's gonna say, horses, you say mullet. Once you say mullet, he's gonna disappear into the air. Don't freak out. Take 10 steps directly in front of you, three steps to your east. Once you do that, touch the wall to your left. Go knock, knock, knock. The door's not gonna open right away. Step back for four seconds, then my boy's gonna come out. His name's Cyclops, the one-eyed Cyclops. Of course, he has one eye, his name's Cyclops. Don't freak out. He's gonna bring you in. He's a nice guy, he's a family man. He has three kids, I mend them all. They're nice people, just go. Come get my stuff right here. The eye sensor. <laughs> Call this number. Is there a number? Is there gonna be a number there? 